Ghanaians go to the poll for the eighth consecutive time since the country adopted a multi-party democracy in 1992. Joseph Adama Okine has not missed any of the rounds. In this crucial time, now I'm going to make a choice. That's why I'm going to vote. And that's the best policy that we adopt. You, you, say, you take your mind, I'll take my mind. And then we'll go. The election is more fine. We need peace for Ghana. That's why I come and vote. It's a patriotic spirit Ghanaians have kept close to heart as more than 70 million registered voters make choice for a new president. Security is not an issue, but that did not stop other business of the day. Ghana has maintained a stern stand against COVID-19 spread and in this election too, no compromise. The rule says everybody should put on a nose mask before voting. So without a nose mask, we will walk you out and then go and buy a new one and then come. From the eyes of a former Liberian president, Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, a pool of observers across the country, ECOWAS has kept close watch of the situation. It has started on time. The photos are moving. The officials, the polling, uh, the representation, the agents of the parties are all here. So for us, it's moving well. It's in the Ghana tradition of a smooth voting process. Ghana Electoral Commission promises to release the results of this election in 24 hours, but a candidate must poll more than 50% of the total vote cast to emerge winner and avoid a runoff election. In Accra, Ghana, Muspal and Wahab, NC News.